Hi guys, uh, welcome back to the another video and this video is going to be really amazing because the very first time I got something which is uh, really interesting for me as well and I hope uh, this is going to be more interesting for you all guys as well. So today as you saw the thumbnail of this video showing we are going to unbox the Kawaru key. Uh, Quirky, a small robot for you all guys and you can code that Quirky too. So without wasting your time, let's get started with that one. So the very first thing when I got this uh, packet, so I got box like this. I hope you can see that. Oh, no. and let me just do something and it's not perfectly fine. But Okay, I think you all guys are able to see that. See, it, see. So when I bought when I when I bought that, I got this one as like this, and uh, you'll be able to see the kit and the everything is there. And along with this one, you'll get a more. The, the most interesting thing is not only the box. I do got two boxes like this. This is the first box, and uh, you can see that it's uh, it's named over here the box one, the Quirky Two Box One. And along with that, I do got the another box, which is box two. Okay, okay, let me try to show you. It's a box 2 kit. Quirky unlimited kit. And inside this, there is a lot. Right, so we'll discuss about all of the things today. And I hope this video is going to be more interesting for you all guys. So the very first thing when I open it, I uh, when I when I open the box first, so inside this, uh, they have given one USB cable. That's, that's common because uh, we have to connect your Quirky with your laptop. So this is what they have given and along with that one they have given a screwdriver <laughs> suppose you wanted to uh, tighten anything or you wanted to do something so you can use this thing along with that one you will be able to get some uh, user manuals uh, let me show you you'll get some user manuals how to use a quirky and what are the user guides are there and how you can use the, uh, the all quirkies as well so similarly i do got some uh, the pieces which is uh, going to be used for, uh, in a quirky to hold the other components while working on quirky so uh, i got many pieces of this like this you can see this because we can attach it on the uh, quirky as well and similarly i'll show you as well how you can do this thing though okay so this is the box one and the most important thing which is missing from the box one is this now you're gonna say what is this this is the box where i do got my quirky so are you guys all excited to see what is my all uh, my quirky and how it's gonna look like yes i knew that and before going to show you the quirky the very first thing and it, this is the most important thing which you have to understand right so when we uh, going to use a query so you have to go through these user manuals which has been provided by uh, to me by the robo champs so the very first thing you have to do it inside you need to understand all the user manuals how you're going to following so very first thing we're going to following this uh, step and the, why are we going to follow this is because I'm also the very new for this this things as well. So let's see how we can do it and what kind of things is. And yes, if you are thinking this is going to be really difficult for the everyone, no. Basically, this robot and uh, this robot champ who has given me this thing. So this they provide the robotic uh, coding and you can code the robots and everything there. So, and similarly, you can make a lot of projects with the, uh, the pro uh, your quirky and by doing the codes and make a robot to do a lot of things there. And I'll do show you a few things again uh, on this boxes. You can see it. So uh, the, these all are the basic things, you know, the basic uh, arrangements you can see which you can make it with the quirky. So there is a multiple like more than 50 plus projects are there which you can make it and guys your wait is over and now i'm coming up with my quirky the very first thing there so let's get started with the very first thing and this is my quirky look at the very small cute robot you can see it right and this robot doesn't have a hands it means it's not a robot it is right so this is the back uh this is the uh, topmost part which i'm uh, showing you let me just uh, uh tell you the names and uh, if i turn around you'll be able to see all the components all the components you can see that see the all component these all are the wheels and uh, along with that you can see these all are the shaft 
and uh, this this is the rotatory uh, stand for the quarry keep suppose you wanted to make a robot to walk and uh, you did the code and you are making them to walk so this is uh, how it's it looks like see i'm trying to show you okay i think this is visible so this is how it looks like and uh, if i go to turn it on you will be able to see this is most important and how the quarry looks like so though uh, you know here few components are there which you can see this is how we can connect the usb port with your uh, computer and along with that one there is a bluetooth and uh, the bluetooth sensors will uh, also there that's what we can going to use it to connect with the computer and along with that one these all are the leds you can see on the top I'm sorry let me show you these all are the leds you you can see it on your uh, the top most of this thing all right now and still the more important thing is over it's not over yet because we are not arranged yet i'm still figuring out how to fix it out so the very first component which i got it is the battery is a battery this battery has to be get connected with the quarry key so how to connect it see uh, in the user manual let me just check with the user manual very first thing they said that uh, here when we turn in the user manual when we turn around the quarry key at the back side there is an uh, there is one port which has been given over here and using that we can connect the battery and along with after connecting the battery there's an options given so i told you right this is uh, the tools this is the pieces which is given to hold the component of the quarry key so i'll try this uh, to fix the battery because i will not show you all of the things there uh, you know the how to fix and all so the fixing videos and uh, this is the intro just to let you know uh, the quarry key what the quarry key is the quarry key is basically a small robot which you can code it on a picto block uh, and uh, even 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 the most important thing is you can uh, uh, you can go for the robo champs for uh, their courses they said that they have opportunity course uh, they are providing opportunity course for like robotic fundament uh, fun uh, foundation ai ml for robots and self driving robots this is most interesting see like the second course they providing the robot champ is curio uh, curiosity and in the curiosity what they do circuits and signals system robotic control systems functional robots and internet of things means you can do a lot more with the quarry key while connecting with the internet the last uh, course they offer is a uh, perseverance which me uh, let's see what they are doing it Uh, robotic uh, manipulators, kinematics, and humanoid, bio-inspired robotics, all terrain robots, and real-world dying thing. Oh my goodness! So I all all of the guys whomsoever watching, if they you all guys are interested in robotics, so I would recommend you go go to the Robo Champs and book your free classes. They also like. they same as like the bright champs they also offer you the free classes and if you going to use if you wanted to feel the robotics and you wanted to see how the robotic work and the robots work and how you can code it i totally recommend you to go for the robo champs and if you need any help you can drop a message i can help it out for uh, getting the free demo classes so uh, i definitely uh, say for those uh, student and parent uh, those th- uh, those who think really thinks that the robots uh, they this child is really interested in robotics so you can guys go for this thing and i love this so the very first thing will be talking about well i'm just going to arrange it because i'm not really sure how to do that and the most important thing you know you you not able to see this there, there is a few dots are there these dots are a speaker Okay so let me show you what else I can uh, I got in this one the very first thing I'm not sure what is this let's see what inside Oh my god they have given a lot of uh, you know uh, if it's it's more interesting see if you wanted to make something with the bot you can attach this thing to your bot and there is a sticker i guess you can attach it and along with that there is something more Uh, oh my goodness i found this is more interesting if you wanted to make your quarry key to looks like a car so you can attach this thing to your quarry key and it's going to looks like a car and i in in this video i'm not going to show you how the quarry key is going to be used and uh, most probably the next video a way uh, wait for the next video and the next video definitely i'm going to show you how to use quarry key and how you can code 
the quarry as well i hope uh, uh, you really got interested is in this and uh, still there is more few more components are there which you can see over here this is all uh, these all things you will be able to get it into the box too and along with that one you will be able to get the motors these all are the motor motors you can get if you wanted to connect extra things and uh, similarly the uh, the bowls the bowls we need require this is what you can get it the bowls over there m3 bowls for 8 mm uh, length they are just saying this thing about this the bolt you get and uh, similarly you will get two more pairs of wheel that's so cool if suppose you're uh, you want to make your uh, quarry to be a carrier for something and i guess you can use this things as well uh, yeah more more in a future the lot of videos will going to be coming on the robotics as well and we'll going to discuss about this things and yes most important thing i forgot where it is ha uh -huh. this is your ultrasonic sensor this is one of the most uh, favorite thing of mine in robots so that's i do love it and the this is we call ultrasonic uh you know sensors with wires so we, we we can directly connect with the quarry for uh, sensing some kind of stuff there so these all are the things what i got it into the uh, the box 2 tool box 2 and the very first thing i'll try to figuring out how to connect with this one and if you guys know about this don't forget to put it uh, put the comments so i can just get it and i'll go through the comment and just i will try and i'll try my best to fix it and uh, definitely in the future uh, the next video is going to be on the robotics and we'll be discussing about how we can connect your robots with your computer and similarly you can code your robot so this is all about the today's video and don't forget to see this thing and again and the next class or next next video which is going to be there this video this uh, quarry will say hi to you using this led we'll try to make this one and stay tuned on this video uh, this channels will be discussing about more and more coding robotics space a lot of things are coming up there stay tuned and thank you so much for watching this video bye bye See, it just if you are, uh, you can do a lot more things with the quarry. This is going to be what. So it's just going to be with the music. If you turn on the quarry, this is quarry is going to be turning on like this way. So you can see it's going to be walk around. So I'm not letting the walk because I want to just show you. It's going to be walk around everywhere. Whenever you turn on, it's just going to be like this. It's going to walk on the shaft and. You can see that our rotatory uh, the wheels are rotating. So uh, basically, this is uh, you have to connect with the Bluetooth port, and as you're going to connect with the Bluetooth port, you'll become to know how that is going to be working. Wasn't it fun? Isn't it right? That's great. And if you like this video, don't forget to sub subscribe and comment because in the more in the future we'll be working on robots and coding the robotics. Thank you so much.